Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty, and I'm excited that you're here with me today to see my March 2018 faves. Hard to believe it's already March. It's amazing. The year is really passing quickly, but I had some really great products this month that I'm excited to share with you. But first, if you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll subscribe and click that little bell. That just notifies you of my future videos. Now, the first product I almost put at the end because it is my only skincare product, but then I realized that it is one of my missions in life to share this product with you. And I know that just sounds crazy, but literally maybe 10, 15 years ago, I got cold sores. And I had maybe three bouts of them. And on the third bout, I thought I cannot go through this again. They were on my lips and it was just so embarrassing. So I looked around on the internet and I found a company in New Zealand that had a product called Virus Soothe. And here is this product here. And I actually have the 10 to 15 year old jar of this still in my bathroom. Because after this little product worked its wonders on my cold sores, I never ever wanted to be without it again. In fact, I worried that the company would go out of business because they always say you can't cure cold sores. But in the case of my cold sores, this product totally cured them. And I talked to Linda, the owner of the company. She's an herbalist and she has several other wonderful products on her website. And when I told her that this had totally cured my cold sores 10 to 15 years ago, she said, I'm not surprised. This little product is called Virus Soothe and it's an herbal preparation. And then there's also a Virus Soothe that's exactly the same thing, but this is a lip balm format. And this is the little cream, the jar. And this is the format that I use. Just goes on like a little cream. And I put it on my cold sores. I can remember the day that I, I started to get them. I put this on and I never ever had another cold sore again, ever in my life. I remember at the time thinking, I wish I had some way to get the word out about this product because I had really suffered with those cold sores. There's nothing like feeling like you look pretty good and then having a huge cold sore on your lip. It's just not good. People don't want to talk to you. They certainly don't want to kiss you. It's just not a good thing. Now, when I talked to Linda, she said not everyone is cured of cold sores, but in many cases, people that have them on an ongoing basis, they keep buying this year after year after year, because instead of going through a week or two weeks with that cold sore, they put it on and it, it's almost gone the same day. And if you have cold sores or anyone in your family has cold sores, what a gift this would be to give it to them. And I will put a link below in the description and I hope you'll check it out. Now let's get into some makeup items. Now this month I discovered the Maybelline Dream Cushion Foundation. Here it is. And I did not want to like this foundation. In fact, I vowed I wouldn't buy it, but it looks so pretty on some other YouTubers that I had to try it out. And this is an absolutely lovely foundation. It comes in a compact with a little sponge and you just use the little sponge and dab it on there and you get the product on there. I don't use any other tool to put the foundation on. I just use the little sponge that comes with it. It's an absolutely beautiful foundation. It goes on very smooth. It covers up all imperfections. It's a very full coverage foundation, but yet at the same time, it does not look cakey. It does not settle into fine lines and wrinkles. My color is classic ivory, and when I put this on, I just feel beautiful. There's no two ways about it. Now, these next two products are makeup products that have literally been a lifesaver for me. Well, maybe not literally, but at least a face saver for me. These are the two products that I have been using to cover up my incision. Let's see, I'm trying to remember what side it's on. <laughs> how, how can I? It's funny, I see in my monitor and I see everything backwards, so I get confused. But anyway, there is my little incision. And I use this Derma Blend Concealer Stick. I actually do use the light, there it is. And it is a wonderful little concealer stick that is totally full coverage. It does not settle into fine lines and wrinkles. It stays put all day. It's great if you have facial imperfections like brown spots or incisions, as I like to call them. I don't like that S-C-A-R word, too permanent for me. I also have a dark spot on my leg that I use this to cover up and I just follow up with a little loose powder and it really does the trick. Now this is my second silver bullet in terms of covering up my incision. And this is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Correcting Concealer in Peach. This is wonderful for concealing my little incision, but it's also great if you have any dark bluish black areas on your skin. And that might be something like the inner corners here of your nose. Sometimes people have black in there and I do as well. And this absolutely covers it up and I just follow up with a little loose powder and all is covered. Now, speaking of loose powders, I have been loving the Laura Mercier face powder, which I won't mention today, but I especially like this one. This is the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder for Under Eyes. This is a wonderful powder specifically for the under eye area, especially if powders for you tend to settle into your fine lines and wrinkles under your eyes. This does not do that. 
and I use this little Real Techniques blue squirrel brush. It's not real squirrel, by the way. And I just dab that powder on and then just dab it under the eyes. This is an absolutely beautiful primer for the under eye area. In addition to setting the concealer there, it does give you a more bright look under your eyes. And that's something I haven't been able to achieve with concealers. So I'm really appreciating this Laura Mercier powder. Now, this next product is just a little workhorse. And you wouldn't think that a little eyeliner would be something to get excited about, but in this case, I really love this eyeliner. This is the L'Oreal Smoldering Eyeliner in Brown. And for those of you blondes out there, I have really realized that black is usually too harsh for us and that using a nice dark brown liner is just softer and more natural looking. And I have been using a lot of liquid liners, and it's not that I won't go back to that some, but I think they looked a little bit harsh on me. And this is just a wonderful little brown pencil liner. You just smooth it on and you know you can kind of blend it out if you need to do that. But it just goes on softly and beautifully. It doesn't drag on your eyelids. Even though this is just a little basic, I think it's very important in helping your eyes look their best. Now, I have three more makeup products for you, and two of them are Flower Beauty, and I absolutely love the Flower Beauty line. It is a drugstore line, perhaps on the most expensive side of drugstore, like maybe these blushes are $9 or something like that, a little, little bit on the expensive side. This is the little Flower Beauty Flower Pots blush in the color Tea Rose. As you can see there, it's a little rose. It's absolutely beautiful. This one doesn't have any glimmer, but it has very, very natural color. I have this blush on right now, and it just gives you a very natural, smooth finish. Now, my last makeup product is another lipstick, and this is the L'Oreal Color Shine Lipstick in the color Varnished Rosewood. I absolutely love this little lipstick, and I'll show you the case there. Very high-end looking case. Very, very pretty. This just has a little bit of a satiny shine. There it is, and I took my lipstick off, so I'll be showing that to you, but isn't that a pretty color? It's a dark neutral, but it has a hint of rose to it. Here it is. So there's how that looks. So it's not super glossy, it's not matte definitely, and it just feels very, very comfortable on your lips. You do have to apply this maybe every two or three hours, but that never really bothers me. It just kind of nulls out any of the little lip lines that you have. It just makes your lips look shiny and fresh and young. Now my last product was actually sent to me and it is a game changer for me. It is an amazing, amazing thing. You know friends, in our second half, sometimes we need to purchase things for ourselves that just make us feel good. Like every now and then having a massage or having a pedicure or something like that. Adding those feel good things into our life just really makes all the difference in the world. Now my last product is a feel good product. For me, it's been a game changer and that really surprised me. This product is a foot massager, and I'll show you a picture of it there. It is actually very heavy, and so I don't want to lift it up here, but there it is. It's the Miko Shiatsu Foot Massager. Joseph at the company reached out to me maybe six months ago saying that he would be glad to send me a foot massager, and I thought, you know, well, I'll think about that. I wasn't sure that I really needed it. And then maybe about a month and a half ago, I had a day at work where I was up on my feet all day doing a lot of enrollment meetings where you walk around in heels all day. And I got home and I thought, you know, today I think a foot massager would be great. And so I responded to Joseph at the company and asked him to go ahead and send it to me. And when he sent it to me, I thought, well, that's something that I'll use every now and then when my feet hurt. Well, I have had this little foot massager for a month now and there is hardly a day that goes by that I do not use it. In fact, when I answer your comments, and it takes me an hour, hour and a half a day usually to answer my comments, I have a little desk over here that I use to answer comments. Well, I'm looking at my foot massager right here because every single time I answer my comments to you, I am sitting there with a the foot massager on. And it is, it is like heaven. It is a shiatsu foot massager. It's like nothing you've ever experienced in your life. I totally believe in foot reflexology. And reflexology is the idea that all of the nerve endings from all of our various organs in our body end up in our feet. And that when we have little tender sore areas in our feet, that usually corresponds with some other part of our body that is having difficulty. And reflexology is just the idea of using very, very firm foot massage to kind of massage those painful areas in the feet. And the idea is that that actually positively impacts the corresponding organ. It has four different power levels. And on the third and fourth power level, it hurts so good, if you know what I mean. I can really use it to get into those areas of my feet that I, that I think are having problems. So it's a shiatsu foot massager. It's a reflexology foot massager. It's absolutely wonderful. And so I'm now going to show you a little video that I made of the foot massager. First, I want to show you the weight of the thing. Oh my gosh, 
It is not a lightweight item. It is absolutely a wonderfully sturdy machine. And come on again and I'll show you the controls up close and personal. So this is how it looks on the top. It has an on off switch which you just press right here. And then you can either choose kneading or non-kneading. I kind of like the non-kneading actually, but it's good either way. And then you control the pressure and you hit this button and you can see here where it says pressure two and you can go up to two, three, and I usually do it on three, and then you can go up to four and even five, but, and then here is your heat button. I love it with the heat. There it's on, there it's off. Now I'm gonna put my feet in here, and let's see what pressure I've got it on. Ooh, four, that's intense. I'll put it on three here. You just stick your feet in there. Oh my, that is absolutely wonderful. It is kneading my feet. It is, it, oh my gosh, it feels so good. You would not imagine how good this is. In fact, when my son comes over, he'll come over for dinner once a week, and we all kind of fight for who gets the foot massager first. We kind of pass it around. Well, we usually have dinner together, and then we'll watch, well, we've been watching The Bachelor lately, one episode of The Bachelor a week, and we go down in the basement to do that, and we get our nice warm blankets around us, and then we kind of argue over who gets the foot massager first. It's almost like a foot massager party. I had no idea when they asked me if I wanted them to send this to me. I thought, well, my feet get tired at the end of the day and that could be handy every now and then. But what I didn't realize is that <laughs> during the work day, I look forward to coming home and putting my feet in this thing. Well, that's a look at my March favorites. Thank you so much for being here with me. And I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And today is no exception. I'm going to be using the Life Loves You cards by Louise Hay. Let's see what God has in store for us to think about today. Ooh, this looks interesting. I create my future today. I create my future today. Hmm. Do something today that your future self will thank you for. Oh my friends, I feel very convicted about this card. Do something today that your future self will thank you for. And I know exactly what that is in my case. It is to quit Crystal Light and to quit Diet Dr. Peppers. Girls, I really just have a problem with any kind of sweet liquid. I used to drink wine years ago. I quit that because it became a little bit of a problem for me. But now I'm into Crystal Light drink mix and also Diet Pop. And basically, it's not just that I have one a day. It's that all day long I sit there drinking Crystal Light. It is not a good thing to do. It, it's filled with chemicals and colors and things that are not good for my body. So just for today, I am going to go to the grocery store and get some lemons and I've got my stevia and make my own little lemonade in a pitcher and stop drinking that crap. And I'm sorry to say the word crap, but that is not good for me and I vow that just for today, I will not drink that stuff. And friends, I hope you'll give this some thought today because really the things that we do today are creating our future self. So friends, just for today, I hope you'll realize that today you're creating your future self and you'll create the best self possible. Take care. See you next time.